Choosing a type of wheel is an important part of an FLL team's design process and there are many wheels to choose from. Here are two main things to think about when picking out wheels for your robot. The first thing to consider are the sizes of your wheels. Obviously, the larger your wheels are, the faster your robot moves around, and as a result, they will give you more time to target more missions. However, you should also remember that LEGO motors have a little bit of backlash or play, and that the wheel can move slightly without the actual motor moving. What's happening is that the gear connected to the motor shaft inside the motor can move because of the accumulated gaps in each gear, and the larger your wheels are, the greater this backlash will be. As a result, large wheels will be less consistent than smaller wheels. Now the differences in this demonstration may seem small, but they will accumulate and you will see a greater inconsistency in a long run. The second thing you should think about are the thicknesses of your wheels. I recommend using thinner wheels because they will not make your robot unnecessarily bulky. In general, you should try to build a robot as compact as possible so it can maneuver tight spaces on the field. To summarize, if you want a robot that can get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, then motorcycle wheels are your best option. It will allow you to build small, compact robots, and the slick tread pattern will not cause your robot to shake or vibrate unlike other treads. However, you will have to use more advanced programming to compensate for its increased backlash. But the overall best wheel is a 62.4mm wheel. They are larger and therefore faster than the wheels provided in the education set, but they are also small and thin enough to allow you to build a compact robot with decreased backlash.